this is a video about gas liquid chromatography, uh, a high level IB topic. This is uh, our $2,000, there's a helicopter going by, our $2,000 gas liquid chromatograph. The gas, uh, which is the mobile phase in this case, is the cheapest gas you can get, which is air, and that's uh, pressurized in and heated up by this equipment. Uh, the stationary phase, the IB wants you to believe that it's beads covered with hydrophobic gel, but ours is actually silicone beads. Uh, the hydrophobic gel, the IB uh, wants you to know uh, are long chain alkanes, but it's the same, uh, the same difference really. So this is very good at separating volatile chemicals out. There's a little uh, ultraviolet uh, type detector at the end of this machine, and uh, the ultraviolet light will detect whether an organic chemical's gone by and leave a peak on a graph. Now pretty much any volatile chemical will work uh, and will go through in about eight minutes. Uh, it, it will go through slower but this also has a little heater and that combined with the high pressure or the medium pressure kind of pushes it along a little bit quicker than it would do otherwise. So the experiment I'm going to try and do is esterification, taking uh, ethanoic acid and ethanol to make ethyl ethanoate. So I'm going to do the experiment and then I'm going to test a sample of it through the gas liquid chromatography machine here. Uh, but so I know which of the peaks is which, uh, because it's an equilibria, the products and the reactants should be present. Before I do that, I'm going to run through my uh, six molar ethanoic acid, my ethanol and ethyl ethanoate through the machine to see where their peaks uh, are going to be. Okay, so the gas liquid chromatograph is ready. I'm just going to put the ethanol through. First, I'm just going to give the uh, syringe a little clean. Now I'm going to take a, a two microlitre sample. Great, now I'm going to inject that into here. Alrighty, I'm going to simultaneously inject it as I click collect. Okay, so the sample's gone into the gas liquid chromatograph and I've set it for eight minutes. The ethanol is being partitioned between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. Uh, whichever it is most attracted to, it will tend to spend more time there. And it seems like it's more attracted to the mobile phase because it's zoomed out after only about two minutes. And you can see soon that ethanoic acid is slightly more attractive to the stationary phase than the mobile phase, so it took a little longer to go through than the ethanol. Okay, for the third sample, we're going to use uh, ethyl ethanoate. Again, I'm going to clean the syringe out and uh, then inject a teeny tiny amount in. While we're waiting, why don't I show you what a beautiful place Eunice is. I'm going to point the camera out the window. So, simultaneous inject and click. Finally, we can see that ethyl ethanoate has a retention time of about three minutes. So I did a little esterification experiment, you don't need to see me do that, and then I took a, a small sample of the equilibrium that I made and popped it into my GLC and this was the spectra that I got. Now you can see I didn't make much of the ester, there is a little peak uh, just about at three, 
which is where the ethyl ethanoate showed up. And so I could use uh, my knowledge of Le Chatelier's principle to try and force the reaction more to the right to make more ester and then double check to see if it was true uh, what I'd done. I had made more ester by running it through the GLC again.